Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be storing away photo cards. I have a big stack, big two big stacks of photo cards that I'm going to put away. <laughs> Pretty big stacks, so we can get started. This is a new, completely new setup, so it's a little bit different. But um, we'll start off first with this binder, which I just recently opened. It holds um, a these are my cards for this page. We have like the um, non-album stuff and then we have also Moonbin stuff um, which I'm super excited about to put away. So for this binder alone I have all of this except actually yeah, all of this. So. And so open this up. I was getting kind of really scared with um, the way that my photo cards were being stored in the um, previous layers because there wasn't the backing. So now we will get started. <coughs> so I put some pages in for this. So I'm putting away the season's greeting photo cards from this time or whatever. This is not the most recent. It's just that and this is what I have most recent currently. So so I changed all my pages to these meow cafe sleeves. Just because they honestly are the best in terms of protecting what parts you have. So yeah. That's why I have them. I definitely feel like they are a little bit expensive and definitely hard to work with in terms of easiness with like sleeves and things like that. But other than that, they overall are really good. I also am trying to kind of switch from to get rid of my Ultra Pro 9 pocket sleeves, so you'll see that as well um, in my bigger binder, one of my bigger binders. I just don't like the feeling of old, kind of dirty, dusty sleeves. So, that's what I have. I also really love this idea of having the backboards, because they honestly do protect the photo cards really nicely. I also put a page here, because I have these photo cards to put away. These are part of their, I think, um, POTD type of merch. I like this one, because they have mics, and a lot of them are in, you know, kind of nice stage outfits. So, Giselle's the only different one in this set, but other than that, it's really cohesive. So, I'll do a little slight flip through what's going on in this binder. So, here I have <coughs> kind of a page set up because I want to kind of collect a little bit more for some of the girls, for some of the sets, and then for my minion stuff. And then now I have some step back stuff that I bought and that I got from the thing. And then I have my bigger ingredients in the other binder, and then I just moved them over to this binder because I would rather have them here because they aren't really albums. None of these are album inclusions, so. come in to my moon bin collection. So you can see that here. And these are the photo cards I have. Okay. So I'm kind of excited to store these all away. So I think yeah, this is dream part one. Dream part one. And then this is dream part two. Yeah. So those are these photo cards. And then dream part two, I have this one for the fish version. And then 
I'm pretty sure the next cards I have are blue flame. I have some of the all light versions on here. So both the story versions of the cards. So that's how that looks. I do have these two also on the way. Then we have one and only. Don't have any of that. Gateway, don't have any of that. All your switch on. Okay, so I have two switch on cards. So I think there's three. I mean, there's four. So I'm gonna take the bottom two. Up. Okay. Next, we have Refuge. Refuge tree. So. I'm really set up of how I have this set up. I have one of this and then two of this version. So let me put this one here and there. And then we'll put these two here. There we go. And then, so now the, it's going to be double sided, so yeah, that's going to look Next, we have my Ace for that binder. And here we only have these cards. I've definitely tried my best to kind of save up for um, Armageddon and all of those album book cards that I'm trying to collect. Um, the, I've already set up for it, and you can kind of see that, but we will try our best to um, kind of so far, kind of fill in. So in this spot, I have things that I already had, and then I have Karina's. This card is gorgeous. I want to just show you guys how beautiful this card is. So I'm excited to have it, but I'm hopefully getting these soon. I don't know why I decided to collect that set, but I'm kind of a completionist and now I'm on full on OT for Aspo collecting. So, <clears throat> the next card I have is from my world era. So, I'm going to skip all the way down here. Finally, have this target card for Karina. I'm really bad at showing the photo for you. Isn't that just gorgeous? This deck's gorgeous. And then, okay, so I finally have this drama version card for Karina. So I'm complete with this set of cards. I'm working really slow with drama right now. Next up, this giant version, and then this. It's still on the way. Oh, wait. Actually, I have this card right here. The scene version. Winter. And then we have two sequence versions. I don't think I have any of the ones from that version. But I have flip cards for this version. I have this winter. And this oh. I want to say I'm struggling the most with Giselle. So I have these sets complete. I'm missing Giselle. I'm missing Giselle. I think I may have actually gotten this, but we'll see. And then this target version went up. And then I also have this set. And then these will be coming soon. So those are done for this binder. Okay, this is my Itsy binder and my Itsy collection, and <laughs> um, I only have two cards for this, so I have this, Rouge and Polaroid, and then we have this Icy Sophia card. That's it, I don't have anything else.
Okay, quite unexpectedly for my Twice collection, I actually have a good chunk of cards. This is a lot more than I usually have. Um, I've kind of come to the part in my Twice collection where I'm like, I have a lot, quite a few 59 sets that I'm still collecting, but I can't really find the cards that easily, especially where I want to get them for cheap. Um, so, I think all the cards I have are actually are actually for fancy okay so i have this jungian fancy card i've been literally looking for this card for a while this one's particularly hard to find and then i have both dahyuns and I have channels. These are really nice cards. So now I'm only missing Sana and Mina. Not much of a surprise, but makes sense. And then we go into this. Oh my god, I'm kind of... This is actually so crazy. I'm actually completing this set. Oh my god, this is my first feel special of T9 set. Oh my god, this is actually... So nice! Okay, and then I also have Sana for this collection. Just in her own card. And so I'm missing four members for this set. Not two. And then after that, I'm going to skip to with youth. I have one of her Nemo cards, and then one of her Digi Pack cards. I still haven't really figured out how I want to do this because there's 11 cards total. So, um, yeah, I might collect an OT9 set or something. So, we'll see. That's it for the binder. Okay, this is my um, Jomu and Rise binder, and you can see here, I kind of changed into Meow Cafe sleeves, which I'm trying out for right now. I don't know if you guys can like see, I can't like them right now, but I'm trying it for now. But I have one card to put away for Jungle, so not much. I don't know if I like, so I do, I think the pocket is a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit of like a bubble effect right now. But here is his Barnes and Noble. This is a photo card. But it is smooth. It's just not as thick and nice as I think the A5 pages are. Okay, so that's John Wu album collection. And now, this is my rise. So I left one card for Unsock for this version. So now, I'm missing one card per version. I'm missing this, Anton, and then I'm missing this one. Not too bad. I have this set from the first album, I have this set from the first thing, and now I'm going to... So I have these Sohi photo cards, so I'm going to split them up into level 1 and 9, and then other cards. So I'm going to put Love 109 cards on one page, and then I'll put these cards on another page. So for now, I'm just going to put them. I, the thing is, I don't really know what I'm collecting for Sophie at the moment. I'm just kind of buying cards I see for kind of relatively easy price. And then just being like, okay, that's it. Just fold it. It's kind of hard to put the photo cards in, but I don't know, I kind of like how tight it is, but it also is kind of annoying because these are um, very similar photo cards, so. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to put all of these. First row. Yeah, I just got a set of his, kind of, some of his photo cards. Um, that was cheap, so. This is good for me. This one, this one, 
over here. And then this one in the middle. <laughs> okay, the backs don't look good, but I'm just gonna keep that for now. I think I'm gonna put, I have to set up for um, Rise's new comeback, which is gonna be super duper exciting. So I will be ready for that soon. Yeah, so for now, this is all we have for Rise. Okay, this is my massive, massive, massive jumbo binder. I think it's three, four, four, four inches big of a binder. It's huge. Um, so I have kind of this really small stack of photo cards. I've never had this small of a stack for this binder ever. So, um, yeah, the entire binder. Okay, this might be a little bit of a glare. So now I'm just going to find where I need to put my photo card. There's a lot of cards in here. I think so. This photo card, pretty sure, goes here. Okay, now I, yeah, this card, pretty sure goes here. I'm not overly confident about this. So we will see. Next. Do I have any of this AO or sorry, yeah, AO stuff? Nope. Um, I do. So I think the next era I have stuff for is not golden age. Not in the golden age. I I'm definitely struggling with golden age, but yeah. I only have stuff for fact check. Only fact check. So I think, yeah, this stuff goes. I think I have KMS here. And SEMA. Okay, KMS. These two photo cards. KMS has like multiple photo cards for each round. They have like five billion cards usually. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more and I maybe potentially will get them, but I think I only have a certain number of spots for them. Open. Oh I have some of those KMS cards already. Okay, not too bad then. Now I only have stuff for be there for me. So these cards are all be there for me. So this one is right here. So I looked up and saw where all of these photo cards go, and they all go in these three spots. So this one is the Apple Music fan sign photo card. So I can put a sleeve on here, and then put this behind here, and then this one. Both go there. And here I've got K pop merch fan sign photo card. So this one is this one. And then on the back of here. We've got this Applewood Macau, which is a very thick, so I thought it was a lucky draw. It's like very, um, like credit card type photo card, but it is not. So now these two <clears throat> go here. There 
we go. This page is complete. Wow. Um, and then these are all work in progress. Okay. Um, here I have this NCT Nation photo card. And then lastly, I have this body pump card. So. have to find my miscellaneous pages with here and yeah this thing is full so I'm going to put it down here that's that bye